The world is changing. Are you? A new normal, a new life. Prepare yourself for new relationships, new health, new wealth, new career, a new you. Join the Golden Space and our 13 transformational speakers. Learn new life concepts, life-changing tools, and meditation techniques to prepare you for the new normal. A global online series, three days, 13 speakers, 13 sessions. Get ready for change. Start your new life now. Master the new normal, 17 to 19th July 2020. Get your tickets at www.thegoldenspace.com slash new normal. Hello, a very good afternoon to all the viewers right now from Body My Soul magazine page as well as Body My Soul festival page. So for those who are following our BMS festival page for Body My Soul festival, a very good afternoon to all of you. I believe this is the very, very first time you see the live pop up on your screen if you are so happen to scrolling the Facebook. So hello, this is Christina Teng and uh, we are from Body Mind Soul magazine who is also a uh, part of the Golden Space. If you have been to our festival last year, you actually will know that, you know, um, we are all a platform of promoting holistic, positive lifestyle. So this is the very first time that we are also live um, on festival on the for our this Saturday talk. So just a little bit to let all the audience who are watching, who are following us, um, a very good afternoon once again, and what this talk platform is all about. So we have always wanted to you know, create more and more engaging events with our community, with our society to actually support um, our society and community in, in whatever growth and transformation. So we want to, to also let everyone understand that, you know, transformation is fun and it's easy. So the video that you have seen in our opening for today is just right and fit in to the title of the talk today. So today I'll talk our topic with our special guest, Mr. Phyllis Yen, who will be coming out in a short while, will be actually sharing with us his journey of rediscovering himself. So the topic today is re rediscover yourself. So it's very similar to the video that we showed you, Master the New Normal uh, online series, um, online program that was uh, hosted by the Golden Space ourselves as well. So what is Master the New Normal? You see, after the past six months, now we are in the month of July. So I want to hear from all the viewers now. How are you? You know, how have change come upon you? Whether it's a good um, way or it has been quite destructive, like how Fellas had uh, mentioned in the caption of the talk, that it, it eventually, you know, one of the benefits is also to hear from Fellas, you know, it has been a very beautiful uh, destruction for his life as well because of the past six months and all the things that are coming up. So I want to hear from everyone now. How is everyone feeling? And then we are talking about master the new normal at the same time, the talk, rediscover yourself as well. So if all of you out there who really want to have a brand new you, you know, have a new tools, come and join us this past, uh, the, the uh, master the new normal, which actually will be happening three days. And Body, Mind, Soul is very happy that, you know, we are part of the media partner for this particular unique a workshop or, or program because in that three days you have 13 different speakers 13 different session 13 different tools that can help us to elevate and prepare ourselves moving back you know to the to the society to the new normal to to the new working environment. So they focuses on three platform, I would say three pillars. One is definitely wealth and career. Another one is relationship and another one is health. Yeah, so there are a lot of interesting program that's happening. So if you really want to know more, you can actually scan the QR code that's appearing on the screen right now. And at the same time, you can also apply the discount code that especially for body mind soul magazine all right especially for body mind soul magazine and bms festival uh, followers you know vip three day pass now is at 99 us dollar and with this code SUB BMS 10, you can get 10% discount. All right. And what is so special with this VIP three days? Because the VIP three days will include 
a recording session that you can re revisit again and again. You know, redigest all the three days sessions, 13 sessions, you know, 13 speakers, 13 different topics that we are talking about. I'm not sure about you. For me, when I go to school one day or so, I'm like a, a bit hard to digest. But with the recording, you can always revisit that. And that is such a wonderful thing to do. If you are not free on certain time, you can also access it through the recordings so it is actually basically at your tips you know anytime you can actually watch it and learn from our unique speaker with their unique authentic experience that they go through themselves and we are here to share all the tools together with everyone who will be joining master the new normal and the bonus is if you are getting the vip pass which has three days you have an additional session together with our founder the golden space founder uh, master umesh h nawani a special one hour session to prepare you energetically mentally emotionally and transform ourselves to be a better person to be a new us a new you so that we can move forward with more happy joy and ease isn't it wonderful if transformation is such a fun and easy thing to do in our life yeah so you know what ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna pull out the ticker if you have not seen the past i mean the promo code we will also show in a bit but stay tuned with us because this month is our celebration month of Body, Mind, Soul magazine. Why? Because I think if those of you who missed our last week, we are six this year, this July onwards. We are six. July is our sixth anniversary and we publish our very first volume, first issue on July 2014. And because it is a celebration month, along the talk, we will be throwing out free gifts, yeah, lucky draws for all of you who are out there watching us. As long as you prepare yourself, answer the question as fast as possible, and depends on your luck, which one that um, our admin will pick, we will announce the winner. So what is the price to get? Listen carefully now. What is the price that we are giving up? You the three lucky winner will go to master the new normal program series okay with 20 percent discount on top of the 99 dollars yeah you will have all these uh, benefits that i've just shared the pre-recorded session a special session with master umesh h nawani if you are new into meditation don't worry meditation is universal and it's non-religious it's one of the tools that we realize it also can help us and i'm sure later on when fellas come up you know he can also share with us what is his realization as well so stay tuned with us because in the quizzes you will be one of the three lucky winners to walk away with 20 percent discount with master the new normal so while I'm waiting for fellas to get ready, I want to see, I want to hear from every one of us here. Out there, how are, how is everyone? Okay, didn't get you just now. Lao was sharing here. Christina, can you share what is the new normal all about? Hmm? Okay, you didn't get it. All right, new normal can be a lot of ways. Um, it's a lot for me personally new normal has a lot to do with uh for my life my personal my personal experience is really about having a different set of understanding having a different set of leadership you know the things that work in the past uh for me personally has somehow it just couldn't work anymore right so i have to find um i have to find ways to actually adapt myself you know, I have to find new tools to adapt myself in terms of leading a team as well. So the whole intention of the Master a New Normal series is basically um, we wanted to gather 13 unique speakers and how it can actually help us to get with 13 different tools. Uh, hold on a minute. 13 different tools to also help us to equip ourselves so that we can have different experiences from different 13 speakers and then we gather all these two and then we can apply it on ourselves in daily basis and then it will help us to equip ourselves emotionally energetically and also physically as well 
So because there are a lot of changes happening now, I believe. And I, I believe from yesterday, um, the live talk with Vivian and Junie. Junie also mentioned, you know, he she is in a public listed uh, a company and then the company is uh, restructuring themselves. Retrenchment is happening, you know, and then um, there might be a lot of overwhelming emotions, overwhelming situations that we, ha we have to handle ourselves. But if, let's say, you can gain new tools on how to handle all this situation with 13 different speakers from 13 different experiences and background, all these speakers if, uh, if I'm allowed to remind you, which this is my show, I'm going to uh, remind you anyway. All these 13 speakers, they are all coming from different countries, different backgrounds, right? Um, some are from Malaysia, some are from Singapore, and some are from uh, Indonesia. We have some are from Dubai. You know, they are all having different experiences, different backgrounds. And with that, it can help you to embrace the change with ease. And that's what Body, Mind, Soul is all about. To actually go through this transformation journey beautifully with fun and ease. And then we also have, I, I believe, in the... Uh, in the uh, Ju in the last week of our June, we managed to invite Cindy Gozali and also Siobhan Coulter to came up and share with us a little bit more about what is it that all um, the Master of New Normal, because they are uh, one of the 13 uh, speakers, two of the 13 speakers that will be actually delivering it um, during that three days. Which three days, if you ask me, is actually the coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So mark your calendar. So we, um, all the 13 sessions, right, all the 13 topics that I'm talking about within the three days, targeted to relationship, as I mentioned before, targeted to wealth, targeted to health and career, and to also equip ourselves to build ourselves better. Why am I keep talking about Master the New Normal? Because it is the topic of the day. Today, I'm very happy to actually have have uh, our you know our special guest who is coming up in a short while right mr Fallis yen right so he himself has has gone through a lot of interesting experiences right i can see that he's he's prepping himself at the back now but just give him a little bit more time i'm sure he will be here to share with all those of you who are out there i you know what christina always want to hear from the crowd you know um, if you have any question along the journey, you want to ask fellas, you want to ask us, you know, please key in, please key in and type in whether you are watching it for a while, whether you are watching it for long, you know, join us all around, join us all the time so that, you know, you can get um, all this personal experience that fellas will be sharing with you. It's very interesting where he actually told me, you know what, because of the pandemic, he has to close down his company. And then yesterday, you know, Juni actually shared with us the company is going through retrenchment as well. So all these things are happening no matter we like it or not. The changes are happening no matter we like it or not. But are we all emotionally equipped to actually take or accept or receive all the news that might be coming our way? So this is something that we are here to actually talk about about and i believe fellas is a father of twin girls yeah and also he's one of the support of the family and and he's going live from his house and uh if just in case i pray everyone you know in case any of her girls come into the screen you know we just say hi to the girls all right so i'm sure fellas is already i'll just pull fellas in let's get him in hi fellas how are mm. you Hi. Hi. Can you guys actually hear me? Can you guys actually hear yes, me? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a little, it'll, a little lacking. Yeah. A little lacking, okay. but it's fine. Yeah. Fellas, how are All you? Right. I know you were trying to settle down your girls before coming to the live. Are they asleep now? I have no idea if they're asleep, but you know, we got <laughs> them settled down. I mean, it's like this with family or babies, you know, so this is the journey. How was it so far with you, you know, in the past six months? And in the caption, you know, you have actually shared with us that um, you are, you own, you are an entrepreneur that owns company of dance studio, you know, dance choreography, and as well as um, event company. Oh, wow. Hi. Yeah. Hello. That's, yeah. That's my niece. Yeah. 
it's been a long time. Yes. So <laughs> how how are you doing now? You you know, share a little bit uh, uh, with our our crowd there. It's very rare right. we have male speaker. Okay. Okay. So for the past few months, you are the second male speaker that we have. So we always <laughs> wish to hear from you know our male, uh, I mean our male speaker, you know how they feel about the changes because we have a lot of uh, mothers or or uh, mother as well as working women actually share with mm -hmm. us how they feel, what is the changes mm -hmm. they've gone through, but. From you personally, fellas, how is everything been going? Well, basically, I think everyone has their own individual journey, whether you are male or female, mother or father, or you have family or no family. And personally, for me, the past six months has been a huge, has been a huge change. And it's always change is always for the better. So um, I'm not too sure if I should start sharing my story or not, but it, it's, it's been a really, really big roller coaster for me. Oh, please, please. Definitely okay. because to, today, besides, uh, yeah. okay, so to all the audience, all the live talk from Body, Mind, Soul magazine always right. comes with tips. Tips from our uh, okay. ex uh, personal experience that we wish, you know, we can share this out and in view that you can put it inside your pocket and straight away practice it. So, fellas, come on, let us just hear your right. story. How these things have happened, mm -hmm. you know, I understand from also from our editors that, you actually mentioned mm -hmm. to them that you have actually closed down your company and in your journey mm -hmm. since the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I started an event company and also a dance entertainment company. So basically with COVID-19, no gathering is allowed, no entertainment is allowed. So basically we have to close it down. We have no choice. And um, just going from, um, just, just going through that happening, you know, uh, it, put myself into a very deep change of state because uh you know as a person who who have to support the whole family uh it, it's scary to go through that and to know that uh the thing that you have been doing for so many years for the past yeah. 15 years that been feeding the family and it's also something that's what i'm really passionate about and it just went off in a blink of an eye so mm. it put me into a state of what am i supposed to do now you know and 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 it's like we it's like almost i was still having the hope that maybe the covid 19 virus might not be that big of an impact because at the earlier stage we really don't know how big of this impact it is going to be nobody yeah. really realized that it is this huge it is huge I mean, in the history of humankind, I think this is one of the one of the biggest impact in the world uh, happening it has been. So uh, as we but move as on I to hold, the first... I hold on to your juicy story first because there are quite a lot of um, out there are saying, right. saying hello to you. I have Lao. Hello, fellas. I have Sinue. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Happy to see you. I have Cindy. Happy hello. Say, happy weekend, everyone. I have Waning, which is my friend. Hi, Waning. It's very rare to see you here. I hope you enjoy the talk and also all the tips and the experiences that fellas will be sharing. Yes, fellas. So once the right. impact happened, right, um, all, yeah. all of us are required to shut down literally yeah. all the business, including um, for us, Body Mind Soul, we also run events. Right. I understand how painful right. it is. And um, at the same time, we have to constantly find other ways, you know, to actually come a, a above, come afloat. So fellas, what was that emotions that you were going through? You know, as the breadwinner for the family and, you, you know. It, there are all kinds of emotions. There's just too many types of emotion that you, you can't define what is exactly that emotion. But it was in a state where you really don't know what you're supposed to do. And when so you, it's like when you're you, kind of lost. Yes, I was really in a state that I do not know what else to do. I was really lost. And I'm a person that I would um, always look forward in a positive way and always try things. But this is a time where I was, my whole beingness is being challenged to a point that I really, really got myself on a standstill in a really, really lost state. So that kind of state was, um, was very, very scary, you know, mm. and, 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 and somehow I'm glad that I was in that state. Why? 
<laughs> that is very well, rare for someone to say that, you know, yeah. because a lot of time, right? Everyone will also share with their friends, you know, if that person is going down, hey, 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 buddy, stay positive, right. stay positive, look right. forward, move forward. But you are here telling us the other way around that you are very yeah. glad that you were lost and you were stuck. Yeah. So well, because why? first of all, I'm a very first of all, I'm a very stubborn person. So the universe is like there's only one way to make you listen and see. Okay. <laughs> when I was in that state, I I was constantly looking for hope. Mm. I was constantly looking for support from mm. the external. And when I realized that uh, I'm not going to get any support or any um, hope uh, from the external, then I start to, I start to, I, you know what? I start to have all the distractions around my life being put away. Oh, wow. All right? Distractions are being put away. And that's a huge thing for me. So I managed to see what's really in front of me with the closest thing, the first thing is my family. Mm. I start to actually start to see how much of um, energy and dedication and commitment my wife has put into the family. And I start to actually appreciate how the smile for my daughter actually gave me hope. Because all this wow. while she smiles at me, I smile back and I say, we're a happy family, but you never really go to that depth of a feeling where you really feel it in a feeling way. I actually, mm. you know what? It's so hard to explain with words. Yeah, because a lot of but, times father's father figure, right? Is someone that comes home late at night, goes out early in the morning yeah. and really didn't have yeah. the, that kind of um, privilege of spending time together with children. But definitely yeah. as a father, the children has always been one of the motivation for a father to go yeah. out, you know, we Chinese yeah. or Hokkien say, uh, pia, you know, we have to, we have to, we, have, we will go all out, you know, a father figure will go all yeah. out for, for, for the family. Right. But I believe because of all these things and you were feeling emotionally, you can't push yourself to be positive and you take things yeah. slower. And that's where you, yeah. you actually share all the distraction somehow are being moved away and you see what is the what is the most important and what matters to you, which is your family. And therefore, you exactly. have more time to spend with them and to truly feel yeah. the children's love for, for their parents. Exactly. And, and also, we always men think about we are out there, right? We are doing, we're really working hard. We never really, I mean, I never really realized that as much as I know that my wife is really working hard at home to maintain the home and creating what we call the home. Otherwise, me going out working for the home, there won't be no home for us, for me, yeah. right? So I, and then I start to see that my wife has been more pia, so-called, and working more hard to maintain the home in a way that I've never, will, I will never ever know and understand in that depth unless I experience it with her. Mm. So with all the distractions, all the distractions being destructed away, I was put in a place that there's nothing else I can do in the career wise for the moment. At least I didn't know what to do. And the only thing that I'm able to do is to be a part of what my wife go through is to go through the experience of maintaining the house with two babies and, and just going through this. Listen, especially for men, for me to go through the same house chores and to go through the same walls every day and to hear the same cries <laughs> every single second not leaving the house and going just going through that repeatedly over and over again and we're like how can my wife go through this for the past two years I will wow. never ever see from that point of view unless I'm being put in that experience what she experienced through. And even that, I don't think that I, I even experienced what she really experienced in that death as a woman. Mm. So that's, that, that made me um, see how much strength from a woman that, we, that I never see before as mm. much as I just know it. 
but to see that it's, it's a strength. And what kind of strength is this? To me, I see it's a strength of love. And I think I will never understand it that much. I, I have a I have a comment over here. Lao is yeah. sharing with us that you know can feel your gratitude, fellas. I think that's what she meant, and your happiness yeah. that you mentioned. But you know what, fellas, yeah. in in that in that first few months, um, in the first I, I would say this happened during the first two months, yeah, March and April, somewhere around yeah. that. But at the same time, you yeah. also notice that you know this impact is going to last for long. Yep. And therefore, and therefore, you have to answer to certain responsibilities as well, For and, sure. and and that's when I believe you also make a decision that you have to actually shut down your your event company, yeah, yeah, for yeah. good. And when you are yeah. doing that, you know what actually makes you from feeling lost and then feeling um stuck, and then you start to pick yourself up and move forward. What what actually inspire you? So when I don't do anything to move life forward, I, it's like an itch that I have inside of me that I need to scratch. So, so and I just realized that it is the emotion of um, not knowing what to do that has been putting me on a stop. Mm. And one day I just feel like I can't be staying stuck like this forever. And so I made a decision to make, take action to make a move forward. Or why am I supposed to move forward? At that point of time, I have no clue. So again, whatever that I see that I can move forward in front, I just make that small step. So is one of it is to... Yeah, yes. is there an example? Yes, I make a call to the people around my industry and start talking to them, like, how are you guys doing? And it seems like everyone closed their business now, events. So that gave me a feeling like, Oh, I am not the only one, right? Wow. I don't feel that alone anymore. So just being in this um, um, in this situation where I took the action to call and talk to a few people, I took the action to call and talk to a few people. To me, that is an action that elevated my stuck emotion mm. because I start to feel that I'm not alone. So even it's a small action, but it is an action that moved me forward a little bit. Mm. And that little bit is better than not moving. Yeah, exactly. So that, exactly. And that brought me to the next step where I start to talk to people that used to work with me, my, my ex-employees, right? And, and I asked them, hey, how are you guys doing? You know, and, and, and everyone responded. We have a chat. And then um, I know some of them are starting to do a little bit of jobs, freelancing here and there. And ask them what how do you get those jobs or from friends and all of that so and i feel like i guess i need to be a part of it too if that's the only thing that can um, bring me some a little bit of income and then i start to hesitantly and ask saying that do you think you might have something for me to do as an wow. ex-employer <laughs> that, that's not an easy move, yeah, fellas. How did you overcome it? Because, because I, I'm standing from your point of view as a leader and as an entrepreneur, yeah. right? And you used to yeah. be the person that scout for jobs for your employees to do, right? And now because you yeah. have to shut down and, and the whole impact as such to the whole entire world, and you actually yeah. have to put down, in a way, I wouldn't say put down, but go through that phrase or that phase of ego, I would say ego, yeah. even I myself have it, you know, but to actually yeah. ask it very openly, you know, how, how did you go through that? I mean, well, for me, um, the first two months when I was in that state of loss, uh, to me, it's, uh, it's life really, life is really destroying all my egos away. And, and, and the only way to do that is to force me into a corner because I'm like a really a stubborn person. And just being feeling lost and starting to talk to my, my ex-employees, just being able to speak and talk to somebody else to have an, a conversation, I already feel the, the gratitude. I already feel, the, I already feel that it's, it's so blessing that I have somebody to even have a conversation Mm. So that feeling of gratitude and that feeling of um, 
feeling blessed? It just led me to 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 ask that question. You know, it wasn't read. I it wasn't really a lot of thinking, but it was that feeling of gratitude. And it is also that gratitude was also built from what I see my wife has been、uh, doing at home, and that the the love of the whole family when I'm really sinking myself into that family love, put me in a more grounded state,、mm. and being in a grounded state and with that. Feeling or bless of having a conversation, whether it's an ex-employee or not, it just made me to make the move because I already put myself that I want to move. I want to take action. All so right. So even asking is a action-taking game. So、okay. I was in that state of mind that just take action. I have a very beautiful comment over here from Shiwei. Beautifully、yeah. said, a small, small step、yeah. makes a big, big difference. Yes. Definitely, it makes a huge difference on you, right, fellas? And and you know what? To all the audience out there who are watching this live, you know, do comment to us. Make sure you comment on either Body Mind Soul Magazine page or BMS Festival page, so that you know whatever question、mm-hmm. that you have along, fellas, are sharing. You know, pop it up, throw it to us. We are here to answer you. And this is actually a safe space for all of us to express.、Mm-hmm. Our sharing, our experiences, and our opinions as well. We are not here to actually say what is right and what is wrong, but we are here to actually share experience, like how Fellas is sharing with us. So, Fellas, at the same time, don't forget whatever tips that Fellas is sharing, and also is flashing on the screen. It is part of the quizzes for you to walk away with twenty percent discount to master the new normal series, right? A VIP ticket. A three days pass that is worth USD ninety nine dollars for you to also go through、um, uh, the changes is with a lot of ease and a lot of fun together with thirteen speakers. So, fellas, coming back to your、yeah. tips, right? The first one was really obvious: is to take action, and that's where she will、yes. actually get right just by calling、yeah. such a small step. That you never even thought of how it will actually inspire you and move your life. So, what is the next、uh, tips that you wish to share with the audience、um, going through what you are going through? Especially out well, there, when... sure there are fathers or there are men that's going through similar experiences with you, right? Yeah, exactly.、Um, when I start to take actions, opportunities start to open up. Really, really, a lot of doors are opening. Doors that I've been never、um, experienced before. So、uh, I was led to different. For instance,、um, I was、uh, as as I start to ask and talk to people,、um, listening for others people feedback gives me inspiration to do things. So I start to open up my laptop and work on a few proposals, creating new profiles, and I was in the momentum of you know in action momentum, and then I start to share whatever I created around, and then、um, people opportunities such as、um, uh, uh, a video video. Production opportunity arises, and I'm always a fan of storytelling videos. But、I've、never been able to have the、uh, um, the、chance. expertise and the chance to really, really do it. So those kind of opportunities open up, and then I also、um, I also start to venture into virtual events because、mm-hmm. physical events are no longer there. Yeah, I mean, people already tell me that I should venture into it, and and I I never really study it. So as I speak to More of my peers from the same industry, I start to understand better, and I start to venture into that as well.、Mm-hmm. And、um, at the same time,、uh, other people are, are opening up doors for me to start to be a brand consultant, to restructure a company's brand and all that. And personally, when I ask myself what re- really do I want to do, and I've always loved to uplift people as much as I love to uplift myself. So I start to look back when I was a dancer, how it was beautiful to be in a space of expressing, and I and I thought that hey, I would start actually teaching dance、uh, and incorporate some of the tools that I've、uh, learned throughout my、um, my spiritual journey with the Golden Space, and and really want to create a new dance program that uplifts people's life. So it becomes too many things that I start to do, right?、Wow. There are too many doors opening up. So、like、from great, start, the first from start, yeah, right, not moving forward, 
and then you start to take one action and then now there are so many opportunities and so many new things that arises things that you have never thought you can do it's coming to your doorstep yep. things that you once passionate about but you let it go because you yep. venture into event management and also coming yep. back right so then what are you doing when you have so many things to do Exactly. So, uh, first of all, you know, you, you, you're a little bit overwhelmed with hope to seeing that suddenly things are really opening up and then you feel hopeful again, which is good. But then again, we always need to, I always have to remind myself to keep myself grounded because I start to see me juggling too many things at one time. And then slowly after a few weeks, it seems that nothing is really, really happening. It's just opportunities, but nothing is really, really oh. happening so solid and concrete. So I, I, I really, really pull myself back down again and, and look into everything that I'm doing and start to um, see every oh, single yeah. thing one by one. Exactly. And see from a bigger picture. And I realized that I actually need to start to organize things, which is priority and, and based on my capability, because it's not like we can do everything at once, which is really, really important for me to do, which is on the side. So I start to spend at least um, three days to just start to organize things. And when I start to organize things, you know, different kind of thought patterns, like what if this doesn't work, right? You're in a state where you really, really need to bring income. What if You're that is not a priority? Of, you are in a state of, uh, I would say, survival at the same time because you have a family Correct. waiting to, to do that as well, and, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And, and so as I start to organize the task, I realize that my mind is actually jumping around and I won't be able to have the clarity to organize what I really need to do. So what happened is that I really put everything away and just start to be very quiet within myself. And then I realized that every single breath brings me to a more grounded state and I start to have more clearer thoughts and start to see things clearly. And I just realized that it is really about organizing our thoughts. And what kind of thoughts do we need to organize? It's exactly. not for me. Exactly. For me, I thought, it's a, I, I thought that I need to organize what I need to think, but it's actually organizing what kind of thoughts serve me at this moment what kind of thoughts that doesn't serve me just put away and it's hard to put away it's just to have that awareness that when the thoughts that doesn't serve you arises what do you need to do so an example is yes a, a quick example is like what if i um, put this job as a priority and it doesn't work then i will miss out the opportunity to do what so which is now i'm jumbled up again just having that thought of what if, because yeah. that kind of thought for me, I believe arises out of fear and that fear is not something that will serve me. So just try, just organizing my thought patterns made me realize and learn about having the awareness whenever negative thoughts that doesn't serve you arise, what I can do to put it away and realign my thoughts into what is serving me. So. That's what I mean. That's what I feel about organizing my thoughts. But then from there, right, even after you take action, you actually organize your thought and you actually start to realize what thoughts actually works for you and serve you, what thoughts doesn't, and you let it go. But, but how do you actually, you know, know what you really want to do when there are so many opportunities out there, even though yeah. you have already organized your thoughts? Yeah. Well, so as... Exactly. So when organizing my thought, it's really about organize, uh, just one more time, organizing my thought is about organizing what thoughts serve me is the, is the kind of thoughts that I want to uh, keep myself surrounded with. So once I have that thought, which are the positive thoughts that serves me, and I start to, um, I start to go back into the, the taking action and start to do things one by one again. The funny thing is that when you have the the when you have thoughts that serve you well, you somehow you are able to organize what you need to do in a in a very automatic way. It just kind of happened. So for me, I realize that it's because I don't have the fear of what if I 
do things that won't work, mm -hmm. that fear has been removed because I've organized my thought in a way. So that made me just start to do what I instantly gut feeling tells me that I want to do this now and I start doing. Is, right? that, is, that, is that also because you kind of like know what you really want to do? You kind of like know your purpose, which is, which is one of the things that you actually share with us as well. Exactly. So um, I realized that I have, there are so many jobs, like which one really served my purpose? So by thinking... You, you actually share with us in the earlier stage that you, you always wish to yeah. do something that you can uplift. Correct. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, and I just think that there's so many things that, that's lined up for me. And, and again, it went back to once the thought is organized where you are propelled in, the, in a clearer direction with positive and uh, thoughts that serve you, you start to just do whatever is in front of you. And then when you put yourself back into the action, you realize, I realize that all my attention is realigned into doing rather mm. than thinking. So I was constantly doing and doing, doing, and there's just so little time for me to think. And when I start to do, that doing created new experience. And that new experience become learning for me rather than trying to find new experience from a repeated thought patterns, there won't be any new learnings. Yeah. So then I just keep doing everything. I just keep doing. And somehow what you really, really should be doing at this at certain moment, it will sort of like put in place for you. And even though if it doesn't fall in the right place, then again, you learn the experience that, oh, now I, I need to be aware of certain things so that I'm a little bit more organized. In the end of the day, it's really about Put yourself, put, I put myself into doing and that doing led me to experiences that grows me in skills, in, um, in, um, in many, many uh, areas of my life. But fellas, so, you, to me, it's really about doing. It's, it's very beautiful that you actually share it in this manner because I believe when you are doing all these things, your first tip, taking action, second tips, organize your thought, third tips, know your purpose, it kind of like constantly putting yourself at the present moment. You are no longer thinking yeah, of does. the past. You are no longer thinking about the future because the future, if you keep thinking, that's where you go, in, go back to the loop, what if? Because that what yeah. if can only happen when you are standing in the position or sitting on the chair of future, correct? But yeah, if you- I, I plan for the future. I plan for the future because if you don't plan for the future, it's going to kick you back, right? You plan for it, but you just don't live in it where yes. you don't drown yourself in it. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's very beautiful. You say. And that is also, you know, one of the, if I'm not mistaken, um, Eka Tolle actually talked about the power of, pre uh, power of present, right? Not every... I guess so, yeah. Sorry? I, I, I agree. Yeah, it's the power of the power of being present because not every one of us can constantly, consciously, you know, make that decision or make that choice that I want to stay in the present. Because if you are, if let's say, fellas, along the journey, you chose not to stay in the present and go back to the back uh, to the past, where how how big your company was, what that kind of grand mm -hmm. event that you have organized, and it will kind of like drown a person or drown yourself into. Like, I can't go back there anymore. You know, I can't do mm -hmm. anything. Which you actually kind of like roller coaster it during the very beginning where you share, you are Definitely. stuck, you are, you are, you know, you are confused, you are lost, you are anxiety as well. And all these emotions surfaces out. And I believe Fellas Line has just got cut off. And that's me alone now. I will just put out some comments, which Bagya is saying, hello, Fellas and Christina and... Um, our Hong Kong fan is also sharing a very good sharing. I believe it's from Fellas. And Vivian is also sharing love your tips. And let's see if Fellas coming back anytime soon. If not, it's time for me to throw out one quick quiz. All right. I'll just do one quick quiz. And all of you out there who is watching us so far and you have listened to us so far, I'm sure you keep seeing me 
re-emphasizing all the tips that fellas have been sharing. Tips number one is taking action. Tips number two is, uh, what is that? Tips number two is organize your thoughts, right? Tips number three is to know your purpose. So let's see what is our very, very first question for any one of us here. Oh, it have nothing to do with what I've just reminded you. <laughs> so quiz number one, what is the title of today's live talk? So the winner, the fastest you are, you will get 20% off for Master the New Normal. And you have a chance to be with the top-notch world-class speaker, 13 different speakers in three days. All right, in three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then you will have different experiences and different tools to rediscover yourself. All right, if you hear how I emphasize, you kind of know that that is kind of like a hint for you as the title of the talk. So all of you out there, type, 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 type. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. While I'm waiting, I can see Phyllis is back. Let me see. All right. So while I'm waiting, so all of you out there, you have to comment in the comment box. Okay. You have to comment in the comment box so that you can walk away with this 20% discount for a three days VIP pass on Master the New Normal. If you wish, you know, to gain new tools, right? And 13 different tools, this is your chance. All right. I'm waiting for you to answer me. So I'll bring back fellas. Hello, fellas. I can't really hear you. One more time. You All can right. hear me? I can hear you now. So I'm waiting for everyone to actually key in in their comment. I'm seeing some of it is popping up, but I want to wait for more. And then, so again, what is the topic of the day? All right. So that's mm -hmm. the thing. So all of you who's watching now, you have a chance to be the lucky winner to walk away with 20% of Master the New Normal. So yeah, fellas, right. as sharing yeah. and somehow you kind of like have a bad connection you know it's it's so important yes. to be at the present right and then i believe yeah. you have one of one more tips is actually you actually share with us when all these things you have done right you have start to pitch out for proposals you have start to actually um um call people you know call your ex employee and all those organizing your thoughts and then mm -hmm. know your purpose and stuff like that but yeah. it still didn't land you any job at all, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. when, when you go been, through so many rejection, fellas, right, what, what yeah. actually helps to pick you up as well? Uh, knowing that I'm still having this, like I'm breathing. So many people perish during the COVID-19. I'm breathing. I have the next second to do something about my situation. Again, that put me into the state of action that, oh, now I can do something about what needs to be done. I've done something, but it's been rejected. All right, what am I supposed, what can I do next? So I always ask myself, what can I do next? And oh, I have another opportunity, right? That's waiting for me. So it, it, again, you know, being in the present moment, for me personally, the state of doing, it's what's putting me in the present moment. Of course, uh, I'm really thankful that I went through my spiritual journey with the Golden Space and Master Wumesh because so many of the tools that can actually, that actually come in and supported uh, uh, me being in a, in a stable state and a balanced state in order to propel forward. So, I mean, if you have any tips that I would give to people, uh, look for uh look for support and and grow yourself in a spiritual way or in in a motivational way there are many speakers around there are many um uh, uh mind mental and emotional wellness places around uh go and learn something new right i i i'm longing to learn something new. i'm longing to grow more so uh, because we need tools in order to propel us forward and knowing our purpose which is the tip number three so many times, like if new opportunity present in our doorstep, is it is it gonna is 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 it gonna serve our purpose? Is it gonna serve my purpose? There's so many things that line up for me. Which one is serving my purpose? I realize that I don't know. I don't know. 
and I just do it because why I have the hunger to have new experience. And through mm. every single experience, I realize that even though it might seem like it's not serving your purpose, it is serving my purpose because one of my huge purpose is to learn. And I realized that I'll be gaining new tools from what the eye sees as not really doing what my purpose is, but I gain new tools. So when I move forward physically to what I really want to do, which is to uplift people, that is make more, that, that tool is helping me. Toolbox. You have more things in your yes. toolbox and you can just pull yes. it out. So fellas, before before I, I we go into the next uh, tips, I want to also because we, we have a few winners here. Let me see. All um, right. Because while you're away, I have to do something, right? So it's yeah. what is the title of the, the to, today's live talk? And we actually have a winner. Uh, let me see. Congratulations to Darren. It is definitely Congratulations, Darren. Hang on. Yes, rediscover yourself. It's rediscover yourself. And um, rediscover yourself. That is right. So, Darren, our team will actually liaise with you, okay? We will liaise with you and then you will get your discount and we will guide you how to actually walk away with this. So, congratulations to Darren. <laughs> clap with me, clap with me. And uh, at the same time, let me just bring um, fellas out again. Yes, yeah, fellas, before we go to the next, there are quite a few comments on the, on the crowd that I really want to pull it out. Um, yeah. Vivian Lo actually says, love your tips. We have Nicole sharing, you know, beautiful sharing, fellas. Keep swimming. Um, Nicole is also in the <laughs> event industry as well. And she she has transformed herself as well um, from something in events and into, you know, a midless grocer delivery. And Vivian also yeah. is um, sharing, you know, amazing heartfelt sharing from you, fellas. And we have... Um, Stephanie, hi bro, that's for you. And also Ho mm -hmm. Kong Kwan over here, handsome men sharing. Yes, definitely. Very rare I have handsome men on the show. So thank you, thank you. And then we have a few that share. Woohoo, go Darren. And go Darren. Yes, Darren. Yes, Darren, congratulations. But for all those who are still watching, you have one more time to give out this lucky winner, 20% discount for Master the New Normal, like what fellas have shared. Mm, because of going through with the golden space, it kind of like gave gave you a set of tools mm. that can help you to walk through this journey together, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. But right. first, I believe you have one last tips that you really want to share with everyone. And that is very interesting. Because you actually told us is to make uh, your conscious, conscious choice. Making your conscious yeah. choice. What, what yeah. do you mean by making your conscious choice? So I was in a experience where I was um, being offered an opportunity to, 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 to get a job. And that's gonna actually going to put some... Um, Money on the table. It's actually going to put... Exactly, right? So the only thing is that uh, I've not done something like that before. And that job requires a profile to show that you've done something like this before. Now I have partners and peers in the industry that has done something like that before. So I can literally, and, and those profiles are actually right in front in my laptop. I can actually just send that away and say that that's part of what I can do. So the thing is that if I do that, I don't think that I will be able to have a good night's sleep. Something mm. inside of me will not agree with me. Me will not agree with me. And that's, but there's another part of me saying that, hey, maybe we could work this around, you know, why don't you just do it first? You need the money, it's urgent. So maybe we can do it first. And so there are two kinds of thoughts that arises in my head. Mm. And when I, when, when, I, when I quiet myself down and look into it and ask myself which direction I should go to. And but first, before that, I ask myself, which is the right choice to do? To make and i realized that both choices are right there's no right or wrong but it's really really about what is the choice that you're going to make that's going to fit your consciousness that's going to make you feel right so i decided that if i've never done this before i want to be really really authentic and really really honest to this client that's been asking us to do it and I just told her, hey, look, we've never done it before. 
I have people that have been done it before. I could share their profile and I work with them to do it. But personally, I've not done it before. So I made that conscious choice to be authentic. I made the conscious choice to be really, really honest. And then mm. I managed to have a good night's sleep. <laughs> Did you get the job? No. So how you deal no. with all this, you know, all this rejection? Because you see, you, you actually did share with us, you still need to put food on the table, right? And it has been a yeah. few months um, um, this yeah. whole scenario is happening, right? And I'm sure um, with all those that you have shared, right, you're actually constantly, you know, taking, um, taking action, you know, um, organizing your thoughts, knowing your purpose. And the last one, which is the very important, this one, making your conscious choice that resonates with your hearts that can put you to sleep at night, right? And, yeah. but yeah. at the same time, you still need to survive. So, is there any plan? You know, what are you depending on? Are are you are you are you working at this point of time, or are you having other jobs at this point of time? Okay, so um, in order to have a fast money income, to me it's really quite straightforward. Open up the dance class that I spoke about and start to teach it. Right. Wow. So I, I went to um, the clubhouse in my residence area and I told them that, hey, I want to do something like this. I created a small proposal and they say, yeah, we, we, we really want to pull the crowd back. Right. Wow. So it's like a win win situation. So I told them that I'm going to give them like a free two to four sessions of a free class just to support uh, people um, and that's going through this whole COVID-19 exactly and after that you know when they have a good experience through three to four free sessions perhaps which I strongly believe I mean actually it's a marketing strategy that I've been picking up through my journey of learning and going through rejections but I've been learning a lot of things at this moment that people actually um, created a habit through experience they mm -hmm. will want it. They will want a support group. They will want. They will want. They will want to have a dance session that can bring them out of the the constant trap, emotion oh, and thinking that they are living. In. Exactly. So I'm really confident about this. So and the club said, you know what? I'm not going to charge you a single cent for the venue rental. Just do it first, and that's great. And that's instantly gonna, you know, uh, 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 um put things in, 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 a, in a good place in terms of survival. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, I'm really working uh, into some other things like um, there's a huge resort that requires a rebranding. So I'm putting a lot of works into it, having a calendar of meetings. So basically, it, I believe what you're saying is, is never give up, right? It, never it, give up. We don't, exactly. We, we keep moving forward. We keep moving. I, I could also make a choice that why not let me go to Starbucks and start doing things? I'm cool with that, right? But again, it's a conscious choice. And I consciously uh, made the choice that these are the few things that I really, really want to do because I can resonate so strongly with it. And to a point, it is basically a, cho a clear choice I made because I feel strongly that it will work. Mm. So again, it's a choice. It, maybe it won't work, but I will not... It, I will be happy even if it don't work because I made the concert choice and I given my very best. And I believe Smart, there's, there's, also, yeah, there's also a lot of trust and faith. Of course, after yeah. the whole scenario of the all the roller coaster that you go and then, you know, all the up and downs along the journey, you realize that these are the four um, steps that can really propel you, that can really move you forward, that can that can allow you to be creative, to be out of the box, to constantly think, what else can I do to actually um, fit the purpose of uplifting life at the same time, also fit the survival purpose that put food on yeah. the table. Yeah. So that is very beautiful. So for all the viewers out there, if you want to or you wish to learn the dance steps with fellas, connect with us and we will connect you with the right person directly with fellas. And uh, some <laughs> of 
some of our, um, you know, I will still remember, you know, um, in one of our Body Mind Soul Carnival, you actually taught, you actually taught our team members to, that has no dance whatsoever experience at all and you were so encouraging you know you are so encouraging to actually constantly let them know it's okay we can take things slow it's about expression yourself it's about expressing yourself through the movement mm -hmm. connecting yourself your heart with the music and feel good about it so when you perform on stage you feel good and you spread joy yeah, it's I about, that really about having dance having fun yeah yeah so this is really a fun conversation that we have it's very insightful and there are a lot of lot of tips so <coughs> ladies and gentlemen it's also time for our last quiz so fellas let's go to our last yeah. quiz. you have given us a lot of tips right you have given us a lot of tips number one i just flash back and recap to take action right one small little action by calling it can be a big inspiration to you and the and number two, action. yes, number two is to organize your thoughts, right? To organize yeah. all the opportunities that come, organize your priorities. And you actually shared with us that um, to organize in a way that what thoughts doesn't serve you anymore, right? Correct. Then you let go of those thoughts. Number three is to know your purpose. What is it that you truly want? What is it that you truly live for? right and the last one i really love this one is making your conscious choice and you share a very beautiful real experience where you make a conscious choice that you can have a good night's sleep at night yeah <laughs> so well, that is very good so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls out there get ready get ready get ready get ready okay so now you can win 30 percent uh, lucky draw. Uh, so sorry, twenty percent. So number quiz number two. What were the two tips? At least give us two tips in one comment. Yeah, two tips that uh, fellas have shared with us, which I just recap just now. So if you want to answer this, you can actually walk away with a twenty percent discount of my new normal uh, online series that's created for all of us out there. Uh, some of you who are going through the similar situation with fellas. If you want and you wish to have gained new tools from different uh, speakers, variety of 13 speakers in three days on the coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can actually win this uh, walk away with this. And then you can get a 20% discount on the VIP pass. Mm -hmm. And the VIP pass, fellas, do you know what do we have with the VIP pass? Tell us. Okay, the VIP pass actually come with a recording session, meaning that anyone can access the recording files, still gain the tools because some might be working on Friday, right? So this mm -hmm. is what benefits and convenience of all the participants. So um, the Golden Space, when they uh, curate this program, they also include a recording session. At the same time, right, the VIP pass uh, holder can also join the person, the master who has inspired you and guided you all around. The mm. holder can enjoy a special session with Master Umesh H. Nawani. Better grab it fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm waiting for the answers. But fellas, before we really conclude, yeah. we're waiting for the winner, right? Any other things that you wish to really share from your heart to all those who might be going through something similar with you? um equip yourself with tools that can really propel you forward in life because i would say that change change will never stop maybe there might be another happening that is even a bigger impact com compared to COVID 19. but those those are the external happenings that if we have our tools that can keep us in a very balanced internal state Whatever external happenings and whatever change that happens in our life is going to be beautiful because change, uh, uh, to me, change has been the only way that I can grow. And whatever that happened to me in uh, COVID-19, I call it a beautiful destruction because it is true destructing my, my looping state of mentality that's where I'm able to venture into rediscovering a new me. 
Mm. And I'm still in this journey of rediscovering a new me. Do you feel, so, you know, do you feel that you, you actually share that it is such a beautiful destruction, right? Yeah. Will you, can I say that, you know, that you actually have that, you know, you are grateful that this happened because it's kind of like change your path and change your lifestyle as well because of this. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, definitely. I'm definitely really grateful for what has happened. And actually, at the same time, what has happened it has also taught me gratitude, which means I start to be more grateful towards everything that is happening in my life, whether it's in a positive or negative way. Everything just start to be more beautiful. Yes, I go through pain, but behind that pain is gratitude. Behind that pain is happiness. Behind the pain is joy. Behind the pain is um, behind the pain is uh, hope. And mm. with that kind of uh, background, pain is a beautiful experience to learn. Wow, that is such kind of, yeah. that is such a powerful statement and powerful sharing that I really can resonate with you, fellas. Um, right, fellas, right. at the same time, we have yes. a winner in the house. So get Who's ready that? together with me. Very rare I can actually have another you know, speaker or uh, someone else, even though it's not physical, to actually clap together. So congratulations to Alicia Chong. Organize your All right. Purpose. Yes, so she answered it correctly. At the same time, fellas, um, there are quite a few of uh, shout out over here, right? Uh, I have Stephanie is sharing, yes, our dance teacher, and she's also sharing <laughs> it was so fun, right? And then she tagged a yeah. few of the teach uh, the dancers as well. Lao is one of them, and then we have Lim Kian Ming over here. Thank you, bro, fellas, for sharing. And Thank yeah, you, all these are crying about the dance and also dancing on stage to public. Yeah, so so congratulations to Alicia. Once again, Alicia Chong. Chong. Yeah, so our admin will actually alliance with you. So be ready to actually mm -hmm. receive a call or a message from our admin through Facebook. Yeah, so that you can know how to get your tickets right away. So, fellas, mm -hmm. thank you very much for sharing with us. It was thank such you. A thank you. It was really such a beautiful sharing to hear from a real people, real stories, right? This is not something yeah. that we make up. It is really a true right. journey that you go through and uh, with your experiences and your spiritual journey that you shared, um, mm -hmm. that you go through together with Golden Space with, with Master Umesh H. Nawani. Mm -hmm. And that's why you also encourage everyone to also join Master the New Normal mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. I believe you have gotten some tools from there and your tools which you have shared with all of us today, the gratefulness mm -hmm. and all those things is really, really wonderful. It carries weight. It carries wisdom. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Christina. Yeah, but at the same time, fellas, for all those who couldn't win 20% discount, you can still get 10% mm -hmm. discount with the promo oh, code nice. flashing out here on the screen. So what is the promo code? If all of you who wants to really grab it, you can scan the QR code. They will direct you straight to the website, www.thegoldenspace.com. Uh, slash we um, master the new normal if I'm not mistaken yeah over there so you can actually apply the promo code sub sub bms10 sub bms10 you can get 10% discount for the VIP pass ninety nine dollar so once again mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen it's a very beautiful I have one more one more thing that is I will just stop this oh okay I'll just stop mm -hmm. this. I have one more comment that I really want to pull out. Shiwei is saying it's such a beautiful sharing again. Fellas, I believe everyone out there is really feeling, you know, that gratitude together with you, that you vibrate out together with all of us, you know, your, your gratefulness towards all the changes that has happened to you and that lead you to a different kind of like lifestyle and path at the same time while mm -hmm. you are still having the same passion with event, you don't give up on it and you are venturing into virtual at the same time, you go back to your core where you always wish to uplift, you know, life through dance, you know, that you can inspire yeah. more. People like me who can't dance, you know, I really learned some from you that you say, you tell me, Christina, just move. That is dancing. That is really expressing yourself. So thank you very much, fellas. And um, 
Yeah, and um, thank you so much. And thank you all the audience who are staying with us. And congratulations to all the winners again to, for Master the New Normal. And if you want to know more, do visit our website. And I believe our admin will also shout out on, on the comment box of the website as well. Yeah, just stay tuned with it. Yeah, we will have that website. So Alicia over here also, thanks for great sharing. So all those thank who are here, yeah, all those who actually join us today, if you feel today's topic and today's discussion with fellas will somehow, you know, inspire your friends and family out there, do share out the live talk because our live talk is constantly available on our platform, whether it's Body Mind Soul Festival or Body Mind Soul Magazine, it is constantly there. If you feel this live talk can inspire more, do spread out the love, spread out the light you know share the love out there and at the same time you know if you would really want to hear more stories as such you know more sharing mm -hmm. for more tips right fellas they can also mm -hmm. you know share with us you can also share with us what are the topics in future that you really want to hear from us so fellas do share around with your friends right and then i'm really for sure. happy to hear from you and to see the transformation that you're having send my love to your kids who are running in and out and then also send our love to your wife as well. Yeah, any last For shout sure. out to your wife, perhaps? Oh my God, you, you make me really, really shy suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I always no, first of all, Christina. I always have a twist for our speaker towards the end. <laughs> I mean, first of all, Christina, thank you for having me. It's been really beautiful. And um, thank you for doing what you're doing with Body Mind Zone. You know, you guys are really spreading what the world needs right now. This is really important, especially at this kind of pivoting times. And yeah, and uh, to my wife, you know, thank you for being you. And just you being you, my wife, it's it, it, it has shined so much into the world, not just to me, but to the world. So thank you very much. The kids are lucky to have you as a mother. And that's my message for my wife. And um, yeah, I really, I really, I really think that um, what Body, Mind, Soul and you, Christina, are doing, it's something that, that should go bigger because the intention is basically really, really making the world a better place. Thank you very much. And I can see that someone is trying to come in very, very soon. Is that Annabelle out there? So we're going to end <laughs> with Annabelle. Hi. <laughs> say oh, hi, Bell. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to end this session yeah. with um, the video of the new normal. For those of you who missed out in the very beginning, now here it is. So a very goodbye and see you next week. Next week. All right. I have another male handsome guy speaker. Yeah, that is talking about his life mission, right? So all oh, wow. of you, all of you out there, our live talk has been moved from 1.30 to 2 p.m. moving forward. Yeah, because we received uh, feedback from all the audience that they wish to move it slightly later because some of them start to work already and they really doesn't mm. want to miss the life. And every week in July, we have prizes giving away because we are celebrating our six year anniversary of Body Mind Soul magazine. Mm. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very goodbye. Adios and see you next week. So we will end it with uh. you. The world is changing. Are you? A new normal, a new life. Prepare yourself okay, for new relationships, pain, you know. new health, new wealth, new career, a new you. Join the Golden Space and our 13 transformational speakers. Learn new life concepts, life-changing tools, and meditation techniques to prepare you for the new normal. A global online series. Three days, 13 speakers, 13 sessions. Get ready for change. Start your new life now. Master the new normal. 17 to 19th July 2020. Get your tickets at www.thegoldenspace.com slash new normal.